Hey guys, welcome to Life of Bliss. My name is Kyle and I'm joined here by my wife Becky. And if you guys have been following the channel for any period of time, you'll know that we have been looking for a house for about the past year and a half and we have finally found a house and bought it. It's been a very long 15 months, but uh, we are in the new house. Should we, should we show them the house now? Let's do it. All right, here's the house. So there you go, just a little tour of the outside of the place and kind of what the land looks like. Um, and the reason that I didn't like go on the inside and, and take you around tour on the inside of the house is because you're gonna see a lot of that in the future. There's a lot of things that we're gonna be doing to the house. Um, I didn't uh, really pretty it up outside or clean things up because that's just the way it is. It's going to be changing a lot over the next months to, to years here. Um, and this this house is pretty special to me because this is actually the house that I grew up in. Uh, my dad actually built this house. Well, my parents did, but uh, my dad did a lot of the work in this house. Um, about fourth or fifth grade for me is when he started on it. And, um, and by the time I got into middle school, we were pretty much able to move in. And this has been pretty much my childhood home growing up. So it was pretty special to be able to buy this house from them and be able to keep it with the family. So, and actually this is, it's it's a special place for both of us because we actually got married in this house. Um, back when we were in school, we decided to get married shortly after, uh, like what? Three weeks. Three weeks after we got engaged. Uh, we got married in this house and we ended up having a, a destination wedding later on that year. But yeah, we, uh, we got married upstairs here in this house. So. Um, pretty pretty special place for both of us. We didn't actually plan on doing this whenever we moved here from Wichita. We've actually been under contract on some other land that we were gonna build a house on early on. We've put offers in on, what, probably three homes? Mm -hmm. Two or three homes um, over the past 15 months. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've been living here and, and the plan has always been we're gonna find a house and then, um, you know, move out of here and, and have our own place and and hopefully my parents would be able to find something closer to us after we move because we have kiddos now and they want to be around them but um, things just kind of worked out and and started talking about it here in the past couple months about buying this place and and that's what ended up happening <laughs> <laughs> Now, throughout this video, I'm going to throw up some pictures of, uh, of when the house is being built and actually my dad uh, during the process and everything from the foundation all the way up to, you know, sheetrock and doing the flooring and everything like that. I mean, he did almost everything on this house or was at least a part of it. So that's really cool for me. Um, and if, if you guys have followed the channel at all or recently within this past year, um, I haven't made a ton of content. And the main reason is we've been actually living here and trying to help my parents transition to moving out of this place and kind of helping my mom with my dad because he's been struggling with uh, Alzheimer's dementia pretty bad here for a while now, but it's it's gotten pretty severe since, especially since we've moved back. But, um, you know, there's there's a lot of 
projects that we'd like to do in this house that he either wasn't able to finish or uh, just never got around to, to doing in the first place. So there's a lot of projects in this house and, and really kind of the channel, the Life of Bliss channel, it started out doing a lot of just DIY home projects, finishing my basement in Wichita and it got into the home theater, um, which I'm still gonna do. I still, I mean, you've seen the theater space down here. You've seen pictures of this down here. I still love doing product reviews. I still love building speakers. I'm gonna start doing that here soon. Um, I've got a couple projects in mind already, but um, I'm still going to be doing that aspect of the channel, but I'm going to be doing a lot more of the home renovation and DIY projects now. Um, we've got uh, a dual fireplace or like a see-through fireplace, which I'll throw a picture up here. It's just all sheetrock now. We're going to tear all that out and rock both sides of it, throw some rock on there. Um, similar to what we did in our last house. Um, going to be doing some built-ins, going to be hopefully here doing some LEDs throughout the whole house. Um, I've been talking with the company about that. So there's a lot of projects that we have in store and this is really kind of cool for me because now instead of doing it out of the garage, I have a large shop to be doing things out of. And um, you know, along with uh, doing these home projects, it was originally a body shop. My dad did a lot of body work back in the day. So there's a full paint booth in there. Um, there's a lot of tools that he has there for, uh, for body work. And I've got the old 72 Chevy C10 pickup that I got recently. So I'm planning on doing a lot with that. I've, I've always worked on cars. I've always been around cars and it's, it's a passion of mine outside of home theater. So I'm really excited to start working on things like that again and having the space to do so without just completely displacing us out of a garage like our last house so I mean there was always something going on in the garage out there and I mean we we're constantly either parking stuff outside or there was dust all over the place because I was cutting up wood or, or doing something like that painting taping stuff off and painting now I've got like a an actual dedicated paint booth to be able to do stuff in so I'm super excited about it um, and again just the fact that I grew up there I worked on cars there I, I painted stuff there like it's pretty cool looking at what my dad built and was able to put together on this property and now it's going to be ours and our kids are going to grow up here and learn how to do stuff here and hopefully hopefully learn some things from me as far as projects go so I don't know it's pretty pretty cool how it all has worked out this past year. What is the one thing that you're looking forward to most about this house and and us redoing or a project that we're going to be redoing. I am most excited about finishing some projects that weren't able to be finished, um, like trim or you know just doing things that your mom and dad wanted to do but never got the chance to. And so really letting this house shine um, how your dad wanted it to be probably, and just wasn't able to do. Yeah. I figured you would have said the flooring. I meant that too. <laughs> so, like I said, you're, you're going to see a lot of this house um, when we start doing it, but there's there's several different uh, flooring styles upstairs. There's carpet, there's tile, there's oak hardwood. So there's about four different styles of flooring within, I don't know, it's all within eyesight. And uh, I think we're going to take all that out and do one cohesive floor. And it should radically change the look of the place too. So. Yeah, we've been we've been talking about that, so I figured that would have been the most exciting thing for you. But it will be. It is going to be hard, and it's different um, <clears throat> because we've never been in a house where I haven't been stressed about student loans, and so it'll be nice to actually make the house the home that I want it to be, mm -hmm. and how I want it to be, yeah. and actually be there for longer than a few years. Because yeah. we figured out in the past. 11 years together we've moved eight times so it now sucked. we're finally settled. and that have been like small moves either i mean we were like yeah. we were in wichita and then we decided to move to kentucky for jobs and then it wasn't even a year later we moved back to wichita and i mean we did everything ourselves like we didn't hire anyone to help us i mean mm -hmm. We hired some people to help us actually lift some stuff out in Kentucky into a truck, but I mean, we did all the moving, all the driving, so yeah, it's, uh, 
it's nice to know that we're going to be here for quite a while and actually be able to settle down and enjoy what we do for years to come. And along the lines of projects, one of the things that I'm super excited about is eventually we're going to be putting an addition onto the house, um, which is going to be more garage space and then converting the garage that we have into more living space, including a dedicated home theater, which I know you're super, super excited about. Mama gets a walk-in pantry and a mudroom, so yeah. I'm okay yeah. with that. We get a, a better walk-in area and a bigger pantry, so, um, but yeah, that, that will be coming. Um, that's the plans right now anyways, so uh, we'll see how, how things go in the future and, and where it takes us, but there's a lot of, a lot of things that we're planning on doing around here and it should be a lot of fun. I don't know if it was the right word, a lot of stress, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of stress and a lot of work. Um, but I'm really excited to get back into doing the more DIY type videos and, and really doing these projects and seeing something at the end of it that's uh, something that we can live with and, and admire for years to come, like I said. So um, yeah, that's kind of the direction that we're going to be going with the channel and uh, what we're doing right now with our life. Um, like I said, there's still going to be a lot of home theater stuff. I still have uh, actually a, a 15 inch subwoofer over here that I need to make a video on here soon. Um, a lot of builds that I have in mind. There's, like I said, now that I have the shop space, I'm really looking forward to actually building some speakers again because that's something that this past year, all the projects that I've done and the reason I haven't made a lot of content is because the projects aren't mine. They're project, projects that we've had to do around here. There's been projects at your mom's house. There's been stuff that we just don't we didn't know where we were going to end up and so it was it was kind of like i didn't want to do anything major i didn't want to do major things at this house because it would just be money we were putting into it that we might not get back out if my parents sold it and and it wasn't to, to us obviously so um yeah i'm excited to start doing some more projects again so all right, I almost forgot before I go, uh, there's something I want to do. So over the years, there's been a lot of people who have helped me out on YouTube, either by uh, showing clips of video and, and mentioning my channel, or um, Michael from uh, Youth Man Reviews. He's been a great friend over the years. Um, so anyways, I wanted to kind of pass that along. I've got um, a package here from our neighbor's son that uh, back in Wichita that we used to live next to. He started a YouTube channel, which I will link down below, but he said he wanted to make me something with his 3D printer and have me open it on camera. I have no idea what it is, but um, Finn, thank you for sending this to me. I have, like I said, no idea. Um, I did tell him whenever he had sent this out originally, um, I was like, dude, like this is a professional channel. Like I, I've got to keep it professional. Um, I, I, you know, this isn't just something I can just randomly throw stuff into. Uh, so he PayPal'd me $100, and so here we are. Um, but uh, anyways, without further ado, got a uh, picture of me from several years ago uh, before I built my uh, 1299. It says, Kyle, thank you for letting me collaborate with you. Uh, this item is fully 3D printed overnight, started printing at 9 p.m. on Tuesday and finished at 7.40 a.m. on Wednesday. That's almost 12 hours. Oh my goodness. By the way, his channel is Finja with an, a one. I'll throw that on the screen. Um, but yeah, what I tried to recreate. Oh, so he tried to recreate the, uh, the picture there. Thank you. So. Oh, cute! Oh my that god, I cool. love it. <laughs> Good job, you, Finn. Uh, you didn't get the facial expression quite right, but oh. uh, you know what? <laughs> no, it's pretty cool. That is cool. I love that. Way it, to go, Finn. Yeah, no, Finn, this is awesome. This is actually going to go, I've got a, a big shelf. I'm going to be a little big, not shelf, but uh, almost like a bookcase mm -hmm. or something we're going to be redoing and throwing in my office. So. This is going to be going in there, but that's cool. What do you think? Pretty close. Getting focus here. That's pretty close, man. That is pretty awesome. Thank you again for sending that out. All right, I appreciate it, man. Like I said, I'll link to his channel down below. And uh, yeah, thanks, Finn. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, like the, the view of the house here and of the land. Um, like I said, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of it here soon. I'm excited to get making uh, get back to making videos again. So hopefully we'll get some, some content here going soon and some projects going. But uh, appreciate you guys watching Life of Bliss. Any words of wisdom here at the end? No, I'm just pumped to not be sharing a bathroom with my four-year-old anymore. <laughs> We've been uh, living in my old room, and there's a uh, Jack and Jill bathroom and with the room that my son's been living, or our son's been living in, so yeah, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways guys, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you soon. Should we show them the home? Sure. That, that's, that's how you want to be? You always say, let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Tubular. <laughs>